Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool Western Electric Rotary Desk Telephone. It's a 500 set and this is Al's Telephone from Indiana and basically he's sending this in for his mom because she likes the handset that has an amplified handset and she's able to hear on this telephone unlike some of the more modern telephones and so she prefers to use this one and uh, it's loud enough that she can hear it and it has a bell so she's able to hear that also and so there's a couple of issues with this telephone uh, we're going to go over it since this is the initial checkout. First of all, I have it hooked up to the telephone line on the analyzer, and I want to try to give you some dial tone. But there is no dial tone. And this has a roll wheel inside for the amplification. And even on zero, we should get some dial tone. And I'm going to roll it all the way up to nine, and there is no dial tone. If you watch the analyzer, we're going to dial out here, and you'll watch the numbers go by. I'm going to end in a 2, and now I want to transmit into the handset. So if you watch the red light on the analyzer, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. So we know this telephone. We're going to go ahead and hang up, try to bring dial tone back, but there is no dial tone. So we know that this telephone has an issue with the receive. And we're going to go ahead. I have the cover off, so we're going to go ahead and unplug it from the analyzer now. Now there is a piece here broken off that happened in shipping and it's a good idea to take the handset and also wrap it up because this was in a big uh, baggie kind of and it had some uh, bubble wrap in it but the handset was riding in the back here like this and what basically happened was even though I'm able to still put the line cord in it needs to be replaced now because the handset hit the line uh, port and broke it. So we're going to pull the cover off and you can see that that's broken. So that's going to have to be replaced at this time now. So we'll replace that. In his note he's got a uh, talks about he wants to make sure that the bell is as loud as it can be and then um, obviously the telephone needs to be repaired because it does not have any receive and I want to give you a look at the inside of this uh, telephone so it's a typical 500 set and it's in good shape and it has an amplified handset so that is uh, that's a plus so we're going to take a short break from the video and we're going to go ahead and replace our modular line port and then we also want to go through the bells make sure they're adjusted as loud as they can go and then we want to troubleshoot uh, our problem with the handset since it does not have any receive so we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back okay we're back now and so we're kind of going through this telephone after we've troubleshooted it and we've also replaced the modular line port now the broken one so that has been replaced and so we don't have to worry about that any longer now the reason why this telephone did not have any receive is because the receive capsule is broke uh, it probably could be repaired but we're not going to worry about it and we'll just set that to the side because that's not an issue any longer we have another receiver capsule that it has been replaced another issue that we found with this telephone is the variable resistor if you've never seen 
or the potentiometer, whatever you want to call it. If you've never seen an amplified handset before, what you have here is a roll wheel, which would be the potentiometer, the volume control, and that needed to be cleaned. So we took this out and we cleaned it. Now a lot of times on these handsets, the amplification board is uh, on a conductive uh, traced uh, piece of plastic and the amplifier board kind of rides up in the handset. Now this is a little bit different style amplification uh, handset whereas the board comes off the transmitter. So they made a couple of different kinds. And we had to go into this board and clean the connections at the plug and we also had to re-solder this board because we were not getting our amplification. So it had a couple of issues going on. One with the broken receiver capsule, the variable potentiometer volume control happened to uh, be cleaned and then going in and resoldering the board. So basically now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and put everything back together again. I'm just going to set the receiver in and I want to put my screws back in the handset here for the wheel for the volume control. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. And then we want to start doing some checks because I want to make sure everything's going to be good for Al's mom here. She wants to be able to use this telephone and it's probably been out of service for a while. So now what we want to do is we want to tuck our board back into the handset here and we want to put our transmitter back in. Before I do that, I want to clean it up a little bit. I want to rough up the ends. So we know we're getting good connections. And then we also want to clean that with a cleaning fluid to take any tarnish off. Because sometimes these connections can look clean, but they're really not. We'll go ahead and put that back into the circuit. Go ahead and plug our handset cord back in, and then we'll go ahead and activate the uh, telephone. We'll go ahead and roll the wheel. That would be all the way down. down, all the way up. We want to dial a 2 and take away dial tone. Now I want to transmit into the handset. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Hello, hello. And you can already see from our initial checkout on the transmitter that our transmitter is working better. It's much brighter and it has more modulation. Take away dial tone. Turn it down. That's low, which would be normal. And we want to bring it up. Dial a two, 
We'll transmit one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello, hello. So we know this telephone is repaired and it's ready to be sent back to Al for his mother. I think we're sending it to his mom. So anyway, what we want to do is we also worked on the bells and adjusted them to a level uh, that they're just not going to get any better than that. You'd have to go to some other uh, situation with more bell ringers in the, in the uh, area that she would be in if she cannot hear that. But the bells have been adjusted uh, to their limit. So we'll go ahead and ring the telephone now. I'm going to let that go a few times. Let it go one more time. Do some dial tone. We'll dial our numbers. End in a two, hang up. Now what we want to do is we want to move the telephone over to a regular line and we'll call like a time and temp number. And that's pretty far away from the video, so we definitely know that the telephone is working and that it has been repaired. And now that we're getting a call, we're going to have to take a short break. So we'll be right back. Okay, we just happened to get a call uh, while we were working on Al's telephone here, so we took care of that and we had to take a short break. So now what we want to do is I'll call one other number. I'll call my number and it'll be busy. And that's a pretty good distance away from the video. So we know this telephone is repaired now. And I'm sure Al's mother will enjoy being able to use her amplified handset once again on an older style Western Electric 500 set. These were great telephones. It's hard to beat them. The quality is uh, the best that you could basically get in those days pretty much and anything nowadays could never hold a candle to them and uh, even with the 2500 sets it was just all great equipment from Western Electric made in America just can't get that anymore uh, very high quality this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair A1 Electronics you can reach us on the web at wwwa one hyphen telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.